Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here, and it's time for um, it's another beer video. It's another beer haul video. Now, if you've just found us here on YouTube, welcome along to the Hop House. We're called because we like hoppy beer, we like house music. If you like either of those or both, give us one of those. Give us a like, share, subscribe to this channel. Okay, beer haul time. I'm getting quite good at this now. Uh, ordering online um, to get some craft beers at a decent price. I, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I still get quite a lot of my beer from the supermarkets. Um, but it's just nice to try different um, beers, different breweries and things like that. Now, um, some reviews that I've just finished, uh, although this video might put, be put up before those videos. But I did, excuse me, I did review some videos from uh, my Christmas box, courtesy of Foxy P. Cheers, Foxy P. Uh, and that was the Beer Company. And I got several um, cans of 330ml cans of craft beer and a glass. Now, I, so while I was looking through, I've obviously put an order in with Left Field Beer. I'm probably going to order from them again because uh, I like their range and the prices ain't bad either. But I had a look on the beer company because I just thought it was a bit of a um, sort of, you know, a presenty type place. Uh, and the majority of stuff they do, they do do um, mixed packs of canned craft beer. And... Value wise, it's good. I think you can get 12 or 24 cans, you can get IPAs and get lagers, uh, mixture and anything. But it's the majority of stuff is um, things that are available in supermarkets. So things like your vocation, uh, life and death, things like your um, Jaipur, uh, Camden Hell's Lager, Camden Pale, stuff that uh, you can pick up. So I thought, I don't really want to order any of them. I probably would, to be fair, due to the price, it came out at a really good price. Probably order from them if I was going to like a family function or a friend's house or a barbecue. So, you know, something where you're getting a load of people around and there's other people that like the, the hoppy beer as well. I'll just grab a 24 pack and then there's loads there to share. Um, but what I did see on there is what's called the Big Six. And it really intrigued me. And what it is, is you get um, six cans of craft beer, 440ml cans, the bigger ones. Uh, and they're from a certain craft brewer. Now, having a look at the names on there, I think these are sort of up and coming breweries. So you're not going to get like your Cloudwater, your Daya, um, or something as big as a brew dog on there. But what you uh, do get is six cans delivered uh, at a pretty decent price. So what I've got here is a big six box from the beer company. Now, there was a couple of breweries that really interested me, actually. One was Attic Brew Co. that are based in Birmingham. I've had a couple of their beers on keg and they were stunning. I'm trying to think if I've had one with a can in a pub now. I might have done, you know. Um, but they uh, also do, um, they can and brew the beers for Castle Rock, the Castle Rock um, canned craft beer that we've had. It's brewed by the Castle Rock boys. They just use their kit and they've got a canning facility. But I, I, was, so I was really interested in getting the Attic Brew Co. Unfortunately... It had sold out, missed out on that. Another one that they had up there was Twisted Wheel, which is another up and coming brewery. I've had a few of their beers on keg and cask, and they were really good. Uh, Twisted Wheel, I thought they were based in Manchester because there was a famous Northern Soul club called Twisted Wheel. But they're actually based in Warrington, so not far away from Manchester. That was gone. There was no Twisted Wheel left. Uh, I think just uh, recently, in the last week or so, they put up a brew by Numbers one. Um, I was half contemplating that, but instead I've gone for I've gone for one from Marakai Brewing Company. Never heard of them before. I think the base dead Seth. Marakai Brewing Company. Um, sounds like they're from Hawaii. Like I, when I worked on the cruise ships, I used to sail LA to Hawaii, and Marakai sounds like somewhere down the road from Honolulu. In fact, Honolulu and Marakai Brewing Company sounds like whoa. This is going to be like proper tropical and yeah, pineapple-y. Right. Can I help? Okay, I'll show you what I've got. Uh, so this is the box. It comes, um, obviously I've torn off the label with the address on. But it comes lengthwise like that. So it's, uh, yeah, so there's six cans in there. And uh, I think you get some snacks as well. I think there's some crisps or something in there. So let's um, get this box open. And I'll show you the beers that are in the box. Sorry for turning the back on the camera. It's just while I open this up. I don't want to cut myself with this knife because it's sharp. And I'm clumsy. There we go. Come on. Come on. Work with me. Oh. Oh, 
Oh wow, right, okay, we've turned it on that way then. It's sort of the other way around. Look at that. So you get six cans look, and then down the bottom are some crisps, some crisps on the side, and you get some beer mats as well. Look at that. Cool. Right, let's run through the beers then. So Marakai Brewing Company, I'm just going to start, I'm going to go, I'm not going to start with that one, I'll go from right to left. So here we go, right to left, Marakai Brewing Company, first one, oh it's a biggie, good things are coming, it's an 8% double IPA, big things are coming, where are Marakai based? I'm sure they're based down south, aren't they? Yeah, East Sussex, TN22, Marakai Brewing Company. Look at that, that's cool. Good things are coming, 8% double IPA. That's beer number one. Beer numero dos. And it's a wit beer, uh, so it's a style I've not done before on the channel. Ace, understanding people. It is 5.6% wit beer. So this is like if you've ever had Ho Garden or what's the American one? Blue Moon. So it's probably gonna taste orangey and clovey and it'll be really murky. Understanding people. There we go, that's beer number two. I can't even remember what was in this. Beer number three, yeah, here we go. Now you're talking my cup of tea. Ooh, maybe it's a bit strong though. Oh no, it's boss, the can's burst. Oh no, it's spilling. Anyway, it's called Turn and Face the Sun. It's 7.2% West Coast IPA. I better get that out into a glass and I'll have to review that in a minute. Let me just stick it back down there for now. Right, all these, all rods. Oh, it's fizzing out the side now. Oh no, I have a casualty. Right, let me get a glass. You don't see this at none of the beer review channels, do you? Glass, 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 give me a glass, give me a glass. Right, so this is going to be a beer haul and a Virgin Beer Review all in one. You buy one, you get one free. Yeah. What about that? Right, I'm just going to try and open this now without losing any more. Right, I'm going to get this out and into the class. This is not what I was expecting from today. This was an unboxing video only. Sorry, I'm pouring it over here because I don't want it spilling everywhere because it's already, it's already an injured soldier. Right, I'll leave that there. Leave that there. We'll review that at the end once I've opened up the rest of the beers. Oh man, I can't believe it's got a hole in it. I'm gutted. Right, next one. This is a collaboration with S43 Brewery, another brewery that I've not yet had uh, the pleasure of. I thought S43 sounds like a postcode, so I thought they were like Chesterfield Way, that area, but they're not. They're actually up in the northeast, um, is it North Umbria or Durham or somewhere? Uh, yeah, Kanda, S43 Brewery, County Durham, DH6. All re rope <laughs> words. All roads lead to nowhere. Six point four percent New England IPA. So that's going to be right on my street. Can't believe I had an injured soldier. Uh, next one is an oat cream IPA. It's called Respect My Personal Space. Marakai Brewing Company. Uh, Seven point two percent again. So there's some kick to that. There is some kick to that. And then finally, another one I'm quite interested in. Is right before your very eyes, 6.5% Frozer. So I think it's a, basically a Gozer, isn't it? Uh, so it's another sour beer. I've got to do another sour beer day on the channel because they're quite, quite interested in me did the sour beers. So that's your sixth can. Uh, snack wise, I've got three bags of crisps. So I've got Bangkok sweet chili. Might have that with this West Coast idea actually. Um, I've got bomber cheese, and then finally Texas barbecue, uh, and some beer mats, beer nuts, beer mats, kind of duty. And um, price wise, I can't believe I've got an injured soldier. Uh, price wise, it came in at thirty-two pounds delivered. So the bomb, God, left the cupboard open. Sorry. £29 for the box uh, and a couple of quid for delivery. So £32 uh, delivered all in all, which I don't think was a bad price um, if you compare it to 
some of the other videos. Right, I'm going to end this video here and then come back and do that beer review, the beer that's just spilled everywhere. Uh, so that's my beer haul. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll be back in a jiff with an impromptu beer review. Ciao for now, people.